morning world. We, uh, we broke 50K yesterday, which is huge, man. Thank you guys, it's so crazy. I think about 50,000 people. Um, it's a lot of people. Thank you so much, it's super appreciated. It's really crazy to me. I'm gonna keep saying, I think I'll say that until the end of time, that it's crazy to me um, because it's crazy to me. So, uh, thank you, it's pretty awesome. Really excited about the future. Start the morning off. So everyone asking about the music in the vlog, um, I get asked constantly. For those of you that don't know, uh, me, my friend Dirty Earn, also known as Boo Shadow, and CJB, Chris Bittner, AKA Beat God, we all make them together. Some of them have been made by one of us, some of them have been made by two of us, some of them have been made by three of us. Worked together for years. Chris just sent me over the uh, beat tape. Here it is. I need to add two more songs to it. And then I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna put it out. So uh, when we put out the beat tape, there will be two versions of it put out. Uh, I'm gonna put out one version. Uh, will be digital. You'll be able to download it online, probably Bandcamp. And then um, we're gonna do physical copies too. That'll be pretty limited. So I'll do physical copies, and those will drop with um, a special shirt or something like that. So uh, that'll only come with the physical copy of the album. All the music that you hear. I mean, it's all us. Pair of Jordans. <laughs> Air Force One. <laughs> Nelly. Got that brick ass shit. Got that Nelly on my Nelly vibe. Nelly vibe for life. You got 750s? You're so fucking whack. <laughs> uh, which ones? I should have the camera on my face. <laughs> Look, I'm just like. Oh man. Bricks, you did get bricks. I thought you said you didn't get bricks. I told you I got you bricks. I got well, not me bricks. For me. <laughs> you bought them on goat? Yeah. How much were they? Six. Hundred? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit out of here. I can't believe you bought this. The fucking suede boot. I'm disappointed on this one. <laughs> you should be. I can't believe you bought this. That's, that's, why you said, that's why you said last night you're like, well, I got some shit coming in, but you're not gonna want to take a look at it. It's true. Yeah. Not a fan. Trying them on. Don't even act like they feel comfortable. Dude, they're so comfortable. Nobody says that. <laughs> I can't believe we got it for 600 though. Yeah. Is that a good deal? It's yeah. like a thousand dollars less than they were selling for. Well, because no one wants to wear those. Ha <laughs> ha! Chris Jeez. is clowning. Damn! I, just, I, couldn't, I couldn't weigh 600. You these don't are, like spending way better, six dollars on lunch. Really going with it. You know they're not comfortable. Yeah, they are, man. These no, are fucking they're awesome. fucking not. They're so I never say that. The zipper's gonna pop on them. What? That's what happens. Nah. Yeah, that's what you got. The zipper's gonna pop. No way. Do they glow? They don't. Do they glow or not? I haven't Maybe. checked it yet. You are those the, the bathroom thing? Are those the, are those the glow ones or those aren't the glow ones? They're the the controversial glow. They're the ones that some glow and some don't. Yeah. Maybe my right one does. And my That'd right be one sick does. if you had one glow and one no glow. Yeah. Don't worry, there's not gonna be any on feeds for these. <laughs> See, I don't pop no That's zippers. That's how you gotta wear them, right? I don't pop yeah. no zippers because I don't use no zippers. Damn, I'm about to buy a pair. Ah, look at this strap. Ooh, boom, ooh, boom. Come and get the black ones, all right? Dude, those are way more expensive. Whew. 
Three reps! <laughs> God damn! You get yourself a future crab for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the black <laughs> Never mind. This was real. Dudes in the shop are talking about how much money people spend on sneakers and how crazy it is. <laughs> and they have no idea that I buy sneakers. That's funny. Let's go home. It's snowing. Alright. Whew. Today was busy. Oh, this thing's all fucked up. Okay, so today was very busy at work. Uh, two drops today. One is about to happen as I'm filming this. Like, I don't even know where my fucking phone is. Uh, in a few minutes. Uh, first drop went crazy well. I'm pretty sure all that stuff is gone. Second drop is at 6 p.m., which is in 25 minutes. Second drop is getting ready to happen right now. Um, I imagine by the time this gets uploaded, the stuff will be gone for the most part, but you can check boost-heaven.com. This is the drop for this week. Um, yeah, so good luck. I hope you got what you wanted. I don't really know. I've been so busy all day, I have no idea what's going on. So. Uh, ah, all right. Oh, this is a new setup. It's taking a long time to do. Um, we're gonna do some techie shit real quick because everyone keeps asking me <laughs> about my iPod, Air, AirBuds. I don't like the name of them. AirBuds from Apple. Like this, AirBuds. Um, I gotta look up which model Powerbeat I have. These are exactly the same. Oh yeah, these are the Powerbeats 3, these things. All right, so. These are the Beats Power Beats 3, I'm pretty sure. And then this is your standard uh, iPhone, whatever, air earbud, right? Okay, so these for my entire life, well, since iPhone has been around, these right here are trash to me. They do not stay in my ear. They never have, they never will. Um, I know you can do this thing where you like wrap it around your ear too, and that probably works, but I never did it. He's never, I never liked these. Uh, they never stayed in my ear. The cord would always pull them right out. I'd lose them, whatever. Um, not a fan. The sound quality was always like fine to me, I guess, but I just never, just didn't fuck with them. So, whatever. Uh, over the years I've had a, I get headphones pretty much everywhere I go. Um, I buy like $20 headphones or $10 headphones because I lose so many of them. Generally don't spend a lot of money on headphones, but uh, recently have been buying more and more. Um, I got these, also have a pair of Bose ones around here somewhere. But uh, anyway, this is the Powerbeats 3. I got these not too long ago in the airport because I lost, well, I forgot, I, I thought I lost my headphones, but they were in my bag. So I got these, funny enough, I got these to watch a movie on the plane, and then when I got on the plane, realized that there was no wireless, you know, no Bluetooth to the thing on the back of the chair, so it was a waste of money. Ended up having to buy another pair of headphones on the plane. Anyway, sound quality on these is fine. Like, there's nothing crazy about it. I wasn't like blown away when I put them on, but it does sound good. Uh, these come with like different little like, I don't know what you call these, little earbud rubbers. The earphone rubbers comes with like a set of three for your different ear sizes, I guess, or ear canal sizes. And then these, you know, hook over your ears. So they stay in your ear a little better, um, but they don't actually go in your ear. It's not, I've put on all the sizes and they kind of sit on the outside of your ear a little bit like this. And it's very stuffy. You definitely can feel that there's something in your ear. This little cord that goes between the two, which honestly isn't really even longer than my beard, and it's kind of annoying sometimes. I don't know. I don't really like it. I wish that they didn't connect. So yeah, uh, pair is fine. I never really had any problems with it pairing. It just you just go in your Bluetooth, open it, bam, bam, it's done. Power Beats three. They're not bad. I don't. I'm not against them by any means. But as far as comfort goes, they're not that comfortable in your ear. They're bulky. 
Um, for an earbud, it's like a big piece for sure. I, I definitely think they're good earphones. These are not a must cop by any means. They're just a nice wireless headphone. This is not good for editing Bluetooth. I actually edited the vlog on the, the uh, Leaving LA vlog to with these headphones on. And the reason there's not that much talking is because it was giving me, made me feel like I was in another dimension. I would say if I had to rate them out of a 10, I'd give them like a 6.5 or a seven maybe. But yeah, so that's the Power Beats. We have, what everyone's talking about recently is the, doobie go lay down. The AirBud, the AirPods, AirBuds, AirPods. It's one of those, AirPods? Yeah, AirPods. It says it on the front of here actually. Yeah, AirPods. This is the case, very small case that it comes in. You compare it to dental floss, you open it, green light comes on. It basically like pairs with your phone instantly as you open it. It'll give you your battery life of the headphones and of the dock itself. You take out the headphones, they look like this. They're very small. They are identical for the most part to these. Well, they aren't identical, but they're close. There are some improvements there. This is actually a little bigger. The Air the AirPod is a little bigger. Openings are, there's an extra opening on the inside. Also, the backside has different, so they are different. The branding is different. There's another opening on this side too. They are, when you first pick them up, they seem exact, but there's some slight differences. Also size. Um, so without the ear, without any sort of attachment, just right out of the box, into my ear, they pair up as soon as you go into your ears, you hear them kind of ding. Um, they go into my ear, but they don't go in your ear. They're not inside, like, for this, and this is just, my person, you know, my ears, my personal opinion here. They sit sort of, they dangle in your ear. They don't go inside your ear canal. They're just sort of dangling on the edge of your ear here, dangling on the inside of your lobe. And um, they just rest there. You know, it just seems like they rest in between the folds of my ear and then they're not actually stuck into my ears. So as far as like them falling out, like I can move my head around like this and they're not gonna fall out. But if I go like that, it's out. Like, you know, if I, so if I'm running or anything like that, it's gonna go out. If I do like this and forget about it, usually they come right out. Um, so little stuff like that, like when you're moving around, things like that, like one will just kind of fall out. I dropped one on the runway in LAX actually, because the music wasn't, usually if it's in your ear and it falls out, the music will turn off so you'll know, but I didn't have the music on, fell out, I didn't even notice, guy had to chase me down. They are really, really nice though. I really like the sound quality. I really like how you can barely feel that there's anything there in your ear, even though it feels like it's a out to fall out the whole time. The sound quality again is amazing. They're really light, The they're really compact. You really don't notice there's much in your ear. A lot of people complain about plastic earbuds and how you notice them in your ear, but honestly, I didn't notice them. The dock is cool. I really like, I mean, I like like quirky shit like this. As far as them staying in your ear, not amazing. Uh, the features of them, like taking them in and out of your ear and pausing music and being able to use a microphone, things like that is pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of features to these headphones that I think make them worth the purchase. If these don't stay in your ear though, the regular ones, these aren't gonna stay in your ear either. The only real thing that's the difference is you don't have the weight of the cord pulling against your ear to help pull it out of your ear. Um, how I was gonna make these work for me because I do like the sound of them and I do like how compact they are. So I did some research online, a couple people on Twitter sent me some links, different stuff. One of the items I got, which I have no idea who these came from, um, are these like black earbud covers. And they look like this. And they kind of go over the earbud in a weird way, like that, and it goes into your ear. Uh, it's definitely not coming out like that. Like it's, it's not, it's not coming out. Oh, your buds, earbud covers, your buds. But these aren't that comfortable. Like this puts like a condom on it basically and it's in your ear. Other item that I got to help was ear hooks, which they advertise to help. You get two different sizes of these little hooks that go on them. Comes with some directions. Um, I tried both hooks yesterday. The big ones are what works for me. So we take those, slide those on. And these are pretty clever. Like I didn't really think this was gonna work at all. Kind of thought it was silly, um, but it actually does help. If I could just get the fucking thing on there. And then, all right, so then these go on like that. Makes your headphones have this little, little extensions on there. A lot of people ask me, with these on here, they're not fitting in here. So this has to go on and off, whichever you choose or whatever. So this goes in your ear and does the same thing. That little like top piece, 
hooks onto this top ridge. I don't know the parts of your ear. I'm not gonna sit here and act like we're in the top part of your ear. It kind of hooks onto. And then the same thing, on, the, but the inside, you know, like you can't see because I have so much hair, but right here it hooks onto the inside there. Just gives it an extra little arm to hold on. And it actually makes a huge difference. Uh, I didn't think it was going to, but they're pretty hard to get out of your ear at that point. Um, they just, it just holds on better. Little, um, secure feeling. I'd say the biggest thing when you first put these on in your ear is getting used to the fact that they feel in they feel non-secure. They feel like they're gonna fall out. It makes you think about them falling out all the time, whether or not they're actually falling out or not. And, um, that pretty much was gonna do it for me. Like I don't think I need to look for any more products right now. Uh, I used a large pair of the ear hooks. Shout out to them. Uh, they didn't pay me for this or anything. I, I just bought them. Really great for the AirPods. I really like them. So that's what I'll be rocking. And um, yeah, so AirPods for now and just back to my regular old studio headphones for editing on the laptop because no Bluetooth without the lag right now, apparently. Just seems to be a problem. So that's my uh, my review of the AirPods. So and if I had to rate these in a number, I'd give them like an eight out of a 10. Soft nine, hard eight. But uh, yeah, that's it for tech. Tech Teddy, Teddy two techs. So uh, that's it for that today. Back to shoes. All right, and so the other shoe is a Sager's pair because it is a sample and samples in my size are harder to come by. Some people will tell you that samples only come in like a size nine. It's not true. It just depends on when the sample is made. Um, not everybody on the internet knows what they're talking about. A lot of people just repeat shit they hear. This sample is Sager's. This is the SNS collab. This is the SNS side of the SNS social status Adidas collab that is coming. This is what the shoe looks like. Back to the boost. This is an interesting shoe. A lot of people, it's funny because a lot of people love the SNS, the first one. Where is that bitch at? Oh, that was right there. Um, a lot of people really love the first one, which looks like this. Differences. Thoughts, manifestations. So yeah, totally different setup for sure. They stuck with the leather cage, but this cage has like a suede outer. This cage is like a more suede leather. So full leather cage on this one. Um, plastic heel cup, black ultra boost, murdered out Jaw Rule branding. I realize that some of y'all probably don't even know who Jaw Rule is. Yeah, and then so ATR strip on the front, which I actually like. A lot of people are hating on it, but I kind of like it, honestly. I don't mind it at all. Um, you have a nice little like zigzag strip on the back, which I think we saw on the Rain and Chant. Uh, full prominent upper. This prominent's a little different. Um, I can't really say. Sager put him on, he says it feels more like a 3.0 to him, but um, Sager. I don't know. I don't believe him really because the knitting on it, <laughs> the knitting on it is thicker. It's like a 2.0 or 1.0 knitting, but it's the pattern is not like, you know, any of them. The pattern it, is completely different. So it cuts across, but it doesn't, where's the 3.0? I need a 3.0. Let's feel this. Yeah, they're not the same. He's tripping. I don't know. I'll have to wait till I get my pair to really like, to really confirm if he's right or wrong. But so I don't really necessarily know how they fit. Um, to me, I would just go with my regular Ultra Boost sizing on them, honestly. So, leather tongue also. You have your consortium, consortium hole punch and handshake. This one says SNS on the inside. This one says SNS on the outside. Handshake on the inside. Your SNS Adidas branded insole. Other insole, social status insole. Laces on this one actually say social status though. And then the laces on this one say sneaker and stuff. The uh, release pair will probably come with extra laces if I had to guess. Yeah, the prominent pattern is crazy. It just kind of cuts across it um, in a wave pattern almost where it goes from gray and black and white to white peppered with gray back into gray and white, but uh, just basically a gray and white shoe. You know, you have your boost, continental sole and yeah and this super fire pair i can't wait for these i'm really excited because i think this means that the new adidas collaborations are all going to be packed we're going to get two pairs per pack which i'm really excited about that excites me like crazy I really like collaborations out of anything shoe wise collabs are my favorite but yeah this is the uh sns social status ultra boost first look here sample pair so Shout out to the dudes that are salty in the comments that think these are fake. We love you. We love you.